What's going on, everybody? Let's get to some of these missions today. So we got our load already set up. I was doing some stuff earlier, and so I decided to get bricks pay, uh, picked up and our wood planks picked trailer picked up that I found and we got to get these to the farm and then we still got to get um, two things of fuel after we deliver this so let's see how how this goes tonight we um, hoping we don't have any issues like we did yesterday So let's get her started. We don't have too far to go to, to get to the farm here. And then uh, we just got to go over towards the garage to get the fuel. So this should be a quick, easy mission, hopefully. As long as we don't crash. So I picked up, uh, we had some lost bricks, or bricks that were up at a warehouse going to Drummond Lake. And I got those picked up with the bandit, and then, um, then I found this other trailer that was on the map going on the way back to the farm here that we picked up. So that's two loads that we get out of the way. Let's see if we can make it through this swampy area over here by the farm. Oh, it's coming up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. As long as we don't tip her, we'll be good. We've been to the farm quite a bit so far, getting all our logs there, so we should have an easy drop off here. And when we get to the going to get the fuel, we gotta go by the garage so we'll sell this trailer. Surprisingly, this thing's pulling pretty decent with uh, this heavy of a load. So we got two sets of metal beams there that we got to find a home for. All right. Oh, wait, we still need one more. There we go. Okay, so we got that all unloaded. Now we need to get the fuel. So we'll get her turned around here. I really hate these trailers though. It would be better if they had some way of locking so when you backed up they didn't go all crooked on you, but... I'd much rather drive a, a semi-trailer than this thing.
out with the old contract at the drilling site. Let's see which one it is real quick, because I was looking for one load for the metal beams. <clears throat> and the only one that I happened to look at was... Um, Let's see if it's is it on here. Um, was it went all the way to uh, Island Lake, and I can't stand driving all the way there. So I don't see out with the old. Which one is it on? Unless I already did it. At the drilling site. Is it on a different map? So I only got two more tasks left on here. It's on Dyson. I must have already did it. That's drilling equipment. And then what's the other one here? Oh, there's out with the old. It's still locked. Construction ridge, uh, rig semi. Oh, a complete harbor delivery. Anch uh, where's harbor delivery at? That one's locked too. Complete in instruments of development. Where is that one at? I don't see that one either. Unless is, is that a task? No. We'll have to find out what that is. It must be on a different map to get that one done. So need both of these. Are all three of these are locked still? That's weird. All right. Yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. Maybe, uh, it, unless you know where it's at, uh, Max, where that, um, that other one is so I can unlock this one. Yeah, it looks like we must, we might have to go to another map to get the other one done first. So I'm still pretty new at, at this game, um, I can do missions and stuff like that, but it just... I'm not sure on when it says now that other one, it's... Oh, so it's uh, Island Lake stuff. Need to do them later. I don't think the beams are needed for anything else, though. Okay. Yeah, I... I, I, I kind of hate Island Lake, man. It's the freaking... It's just a hard map to do for me. It's it's difficult to get there. So like we need to get a bunch of vehicles there. All right, why are we struggling here? Let's get the Shouldn't be struggling when you have no load on here. So, like, after we get these next couple missions done on on Smithville, then I probably could bring a couple of vehicles over to Island Lake there. Because it just takes so long to get there, and it's difficult to get there. But, like, I know we got one mission left that does need to go to Island Lake. It just... Might have to... Tr Every time I've gone there, I've had a hard time. There's a... Yeah, I think we do have some fuel set up there, because we, we have been there before, it's just definitely been a struggle in there. I don't know why we're struggling so hard here, though. Just 
trying to get our damn truck out of the swamp here. Mud. Maybe if I put the diff lock on there again, it would help out. Alright. So yeah, now we just need to get the two fuel, which is at the gas station there anyways. This trailer sold. Do you know, Max, do you get um, the same amount for the trailers when you sell them as you do when you buy them? Like this one, I think this one was on the map, so I didn't pay for this one. I was going to try to pay attention next time I buy a trailer. You do? Okay, cool. Yeah, hey, because I had to buy a couple long trailers to try and get a bunch of loads in at once. <clears throat> and then resold it right, right after I got done with it and uh, didn't really pay attention whether or not I got the same amount of money I paid for it. I'm, I know in hard mode you can't sell trailers. I, I'm watching this one lady on, uh, doing Snow Runner there and she uh, was saying you can't sell trailers on hard mode. So we got that one sold. Let's go get our fuel. Ah, shit. Forget my damn keybinds here. Let's get her. Let's get her fixed real quick and then we'll go and get our fuel. Pretty sure I take I make a left and then I take the first right to go over to the fuel station here. Can't remember if it's this one though or the other next one though. Let's just double check. Yeah, it is this one. Those flatbed oh hang on. The flatbed trailers are twice as heavy as the sideboard trailers. You mean the one that was over there at the garage there, or the one that was the one that it, uh, uh, the one that I, the one that I just sold, the one I sold. Okay, so those are twice as, twice as heavy as the sideboard trailers. Okay, good to know. Fuels right in the back here. Let's move that one. Oh. All right, so we got our two fuel. Let's we'll take these to the farm, and we'll be done with that first mission already. So how's your night going so far, Max? Hoping we don't tip too many loads over today. There's a pain in the butt. Even picking up them bricks, them bricks were way over by the warehouse there. They were in the woods and I almost tipped the damn trailer over there and then I had him on the bandit and then I switched them over to this vehicle because I know this one's a lot stronger. Oh, so you're in Australia too. I can't, um, 
Are you one of, uh... Uh... Bearded Bushman's, um... Followers? He's in Australia, too. He, uh, does SnowRunner and... Armor 3. He's, I think he's doing Armor 3 right now. He, he started with SnowRunner there earlier. Like a half hour ago, and they got frustrated. And said, forget it. He was in here yesterday. He's a pretty good guy. Seen a little of his streams. Very late. Last time. Yeah. What time is it there now in Australia? Damn, we're just breaking everything on this truck here. Right now it's uh, 10.35 p.m. in Michigan. Twelve thirty. So that's what twelve. So is it Wednesday or Tuesday for you? I'm guessing it'd be Wednesday, right? The future, baby. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. It's so, this has been so uh, interesting talking to different people all around the world here, doing the stream in here. So what does tomorrow bring us? <laughs> scenes that I haven't done tomorrow yet. <laughs> it's, it's fucked, man. Don't, <laughs> don't come. <laughs> no, that's funny. I'm wondering if, um, if we have a mission that's getting close to Island Lake, I could probably try to start bringing these metal beams closer. That's gonna be a haul. My problem is there's just no easy way to get to Island Lake. Like, every way that I've gone, like I've gone the way we were yesterday, um, going through the dam and then keep going all the way down through the main road, and, and man, it's just been a hassle. Like, I don't know what is there's a better way to go. Oh, yeah, you know what? Brian showed me that. There's a... Uh, going around that back... Uh, around the left-hand side of that house there. He showed me that last time, and I, I keep forgetting about that. Alright, so 49... So we're up to 59,700 in money already. That's pretty good. So let's shut her down. And see what we got left here. If there's something else we can do. So we do still have some more tasks in here. We've been knocking them off a little bit, but I don't do the contest as much. Unfortunate event. So you think if you click on it from here, you should be able to see the task, but you can't. But then when I go here, you don't see it. So I must not have gone there before yet. Or at least not have act activated the thing there. Let's go Michigan flag or Michigan trail. Scout is required. And then we still have this one here. So we need one concrete slab. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, I'm so sometimes, I, well, early on when I first started, I was, 
I was just going to them and then leaving it. And I didn't, I, cause I thought when you started tracking or when you accepted it, it would start tracking it because I was still new to the game. Um, I didn't realize you have to accept it. Otherwise it's not going to show up on your thing here. So this one is pretty far. I mean, this, I know this trek. I went this trek before with, uh, a vehicle, it was, uh, I ended up having to bring a fuel truck out there because I couldn't make it all the way. So it might be a good idea to, to get a, a small, like a scout trailer and just tow it behind us. Although I think there's a fuel right here. Oh, that's a flatbed. So it's got, what is the tires vehicle spare parts on it so if we had something with vehicle spare parts we can get that trailer out of there so it does require the crane to pick now is that the big crane So I guess we could go, we're kind of close to that one. We could probably go over here and activate it and see what it, see what it is. Um, but I know that I did this route here with a couple loads. I think I had to go up to, I had to go up to a house that was over here, this, this house right here. And I ran out of fuel, like somewhere right in here. Loading creating is fine. Okay, so we could take the bandit there. Fish cargo out of the river. So we could get the bandit out here and <clears throat> get the... So the cement slabs, I think, were... We can get them at this warehouse over here, which isn't far from that or unfortunate event or then we can go all the way around and get that you know drive that one there what are you thinking what do you what would you like to see max because either way i think we're going to need the we're going to need to get the bandit out here where is it um because i don't know if put on the crane Should I, you think I should use the bandit or should I use the, uh, well, we got also the Royal BMT, but I don't, or BM, but I don't think we can put a crane on this one. <clears throat> I would rather use this truck just cause it's stronger. I think it's stronger, but I'd have to take the, I think I'd have to take the crane off of the other one. Cause I don't think I could put the crane on this thing. If I remember right. I mean, you might be able to, but I don't think you could put the bed on, too. Uh, the the Royal is an off-road. Can never have a diff lock, so you never use it. Um, is that the one I'm on? Oh, yeah, the Royal. Okay, so we don't want to use this, then. Um, so we got the... Out of all the trucks, then we got the Western Star. We have this one. We have the Tuz or whatever it is called. And we got the Tatra. But like this one, I know we can't put the crane on. And then we just got some scouts. We got this thing. I hate this truck, though. It's, I mean, I don't know if it's better with different things on it, but... <clears throat> it, uh... I don't think it's got a lot of power at all on it. And um, we still got the international... And this little thing. I don't know what the hell this thing would be used for.
Like, I wish I could... This thing would be good to take, but it's... There's no... I don't think you can put a crane on it. At least not without a bed on it. Can't see. You only can put these few things on it. So the P16 is unique tires that make it especially good at going through mud, which um, it makes a swampy marsh island and lake much less frustrating. So I, maybe we'd take that one out there when we go out, when we go out to there. But yeah, we can't we can't put anything on this one, so no sense taking this one. Can't put a crane at least on this one, unless uh, we have to take it off another vehicle first. Sometimes. The, I know there's certain ones you can take stuff off of them and then put them on the other ones. Where is it at? See, I'm still... Okay, there it is. So, customize. Uninstall. I forget what truck we were going to put on, put it on. So we still haven't used the Western Twin Star yet. Um, I forget which truck we were going to use. Wasn't the Royal. Use the Western Star, you think? So let's go back. Let's get in here. Alright, so let's customize this one and see if we can get... So we'll put it like there. There we go. I didn't know we could put... I couldn't remember if we could put the crane on this one or not. It cannot um, take crane bed plus trailer, but there, it's okay for... For crane... For these crane tasks. Oh, yeah, because the bed sits too far off of... Uh, the back of it that's why I can't take a you can't put a trailer on it so if we only need wonder if it, should we I don't know if we see if we can get better tires in this thing I don't think we want chains though do we highway Probably just leave these on. Chains are only good for ice and icy roads. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's see where we gotta go. We have to go. So we gotta go back over to the unfortunate events. Let's try to at least activate that and then we can. Um, oops. Thought the garage was over there for some reason. And then we can see how long it takes us to get this one done, and we can we can try that other one if we have time. Uh, 
Use version 2 of tires is usually the best. Oh, really? Is it? Okay. See, I thought the better the ver- or like, 3 would be better than 2. Oh, I didn't, you know, did I have them already on? Oh, I had 3s. So we would have to pay for those. Oh, I see, yeah, those do look a little bit better, huh? Alright, we got the money, let's buy them. I'm sure we might have them on a different truck already, but... I'm not, I don't want to go through trying to figure out if we do or not. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought, so I would think that, you know, version 3 would be better than version 2. But that's not the case then, huh? Good to know. Yeah, that's, that's one of the, one of the issues that I think I have the most of is the choosing the right tires too. Tires are key to these uh, missions and tasks. These do look a lot more meatier though, that's for sure. I guess I get like a certain set of tires on there and then I just leave them on because they, you know, if they work good so far, but I haven't really tried too many of the different tires other than in the beginning because you we were only, you didn't have no money so we could only get what we could get. Or what was on that truck when you originally got it. Of course, it's going to start raining on us. Should be there in a second now because it wasn't too far from the farm. It's right here, actually. Yeah, I can't say I've ever even been in this one here. No, I thought there was a... Wasn't there a fuel trailer in here before? Unless it's a different one I'm thinking about. Alright. <clears throat> so it delivered to the warehouse oil barrels. Let's get that off and then... Oh wow. So can this, um... Can these oil barrels... How many... Uh, I wonder how many we can pick up on here. In this truck. Why does it got... So it's got four of them. Oh, drop off there, but pick them up here. One, two, three. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we can do on this. Can we pick? Can we get all three of them on the first try here? Or I think I'm gonna leave that first one. Well, either way, we've got to go through the river. Yeah, let's go get that first one first, and then then we can go right down the thing here. I wonder what that? What was that other oil barrel right there? Oh, looked like there was one that was green, so it was weird. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it's made it a lot easier. Yesterday I found out... <clears throat> I'm not sure if you were here yesterday, Max. So yesterday... When I was trying to figure out where, what, what, what was on all the trailers, 
that were all throughout this map that I couldn't figure out which ones were what. I didn't know that when you're when you have a, ma a mission that you're tracking or a contract that you're tracking, whatever, either a ta it must be a task too. So either a task or a mission. Um, once you're tracking it, if you s zoom out on the map, anything that has an up arrow is some of the things you might need for that for that mission or task. Um, head along the riverbank. The UI is not uh, the alternate. I don't know what UI means. Is not the best. Uh, I'm not good at all the acronym things. But I'm sure it's something simple. UI, UI. What could it be? User interface. All right. Yeah, the um, so that when you um, when you're tracking a thing, anything with the up arrow is something that you might need. So, like I kept trying to like I click on the the trailer and I didn't like what the hell's on this trailer, and now it ma makes it a lot easier just to, when you're tracking it. Now if there's a trailer that has the stuff that we need, then we don't have to we just go get that trailer and then instead of having to go to the warehouse or whatever to get it. So I'm excited to learn that because that was a pain in the ass. So I bet you we're only gonna be able to get like two of these at a time. I don't think we could fit all three on here. So let's get our position right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Well, that, that's fall number one. Let's see, if we had another truck out here that had a... I figured I was just trying to... Trying to turn it around so that we had... Um, I could back it up in there so it would be more, feel it looked like it would be more straight instead of trying to pull from the side. And that didn't work out very well. If we had another bandit out there or whatever with a crane on it, we could have easily got us picked up or the Western Star recovered that. It was over at the farm. We could have, well, that's this truck. Yeah, that's right. The bandit I recovered back to the garage once we got done with the, our last load yesterday. So I need to start leaving a couple vehicles out in the map somewhere so that in case something like that happens, we ain't got to drive all the way back. But luckily, this isn't that far. I was reading you, reading your message, and, and I crashed. Um, makes things a little bit harder. Yeah. Feel the view. Yeah, I need those. I, the bearded bushman keeps telling me that too, and I keep forgetting. I mean, I'm looking at at it's at a farther distance and. Instead of zooming in a little bit more, and I probably could have seen that it was going to tip over before it happened, but that's the newbie in me. Still learning it. Alright, buddy. Well, thanks for stopping in. We'll catch up with you next time.
All right, it looks like we're just about back to the warehouse here. I'm gonna try this for a second time. Hopefully we won't put the truck to sleep again. here this time. If I can get it, keep it flat enough, maybe I'll just keep it on the side like this. Load it from the side. Kind of looks like it's leaning already as soon as we start putting that load on there. It's probably going to lean more, so I want to kind of straighten it out a little bit here. That looks good right there, I think. Crane activated. Let's see if we have too many problems with this crane, because when I was trying to load up the bricks earlier, man, I could not get this stupid thing to attach. See, like it should attach right there, and I don't know, it's attaching. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm having issues, some issues with this screen though. I wonder where we might, might only be able to get one on this truck. my other deal with the, there we go, something like this so we can see, let's see, bring it in a little bit, we might be able to get two on here, See what it does when you pack it. So we should be able to get two on here. All right, let's see. Let's see how bad this is gonna go here. Yikes. Very tippy. So the other ones are down over there. Just trying to get her so much straightened out enough so we can go straight off of here. I don't want to go around. I don't want to turn right now because it'll probably just lean right back to the back here or to the right and tip over. This is good enough here. Now I'm wondering if we can get across there or not. Let's 
try and take a look at the map here a little bit better. Maybe go and come down a little bit over here. I mean, it looks like we should be able to get across right here, but when you look over here, I don't know. Go for broke. Hopefully it doesn't tip over right here. Alright, good. Finally. We're gonna take this slow. I'm just not sure if I can go if I should go up. If we go right on that side there, we're probably gonna tip over. Let's try and go over this way. Of course we're gonna not be able to turn, so we're gonna hit the tree. Oh, this don't look like the right way. All right, let's back her back down. Can fit in between them two trees right there. Yeah. All right, that worked out. I gotta change the time because I can't do this night thing. Oh, this looks pretty muddy through here. <clears throat> we'll try and stay away from the water. Maybe it won't be as wet. Since our second one's right there, I'm going to get her turned around, so we're heading at least back to the warehouse. Be close enough right here. All right, swing it around. Get it rotated a little bit. Spring it out a little bit. Alright.
All right, let's try and get this thing back to the warehouse. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Probably just try and go the same way back over. Over that tree there so we don't tip into the water. Leaning quite a bit though, but holding on. This might be a little bit more difficult with all this weight on here now though, getting across here. We'll see in a second. Just keep it in low. Too bad. Let's get over here. All we gotta do is one more time and get that other oil barrel and we done with the second mission already. Wow, well, actually surprisingly uh, fairly easy. Although we're gonna should probably get some fuel but we got enough. We, we don't have to go that far to get rid of the these barrels or to get that last barrel. Alright. Actually we'll just back up and turn around here, go right back the same way. Wish we could put beacons on this truck. I kind of like the beacons. They're not that bright, but... But they're... At least, I like, kind of look cool like you're working on and doing something while you're sitting there. here so that one actually wasn't too bad surprised I'm always iffy about going in the water like this because I never know how deep it is let alone if I'm doing it the right way uh oh See, we went through the water easily, now we're not going through the water easy. Probably because we've already been through here once, I don't know. Let's see if I go up a little bit more to the right. Try going a little bit over here to the right. Probably 
probably because we don't have anything on this truck. That's why it's having a hard time getting through here. But keep two of the one side of the tires on here. Maybe that'll help us out. There we go. Once we get that other oil barrel on here, <clears throat> should be uh, should be should be you know we have some weight on it. Should be able to go right back through there easily. Watch the third one, it's probably going to be the hardest one to get to. Once we get to these oil barrels, I'm going to run upstairs real quick, get my coffee going, and then get it turned back on and we'll see about getting this last one picked up. It's going to be the hardest one. So we need to get <coughs> probably turned around. Excuse me. So that we can, uh, oh great. So that we can, once we get the load on, we are already pointing in the right direction here. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be the hardest one. I mean, it's going to be a pain to get out of, too. Got it in low too. Let's see. Oh, great. Now we lost that tree. And it's probably too far for us to grab. I think it's too far for us to be able to grab from here. Oh, 
Could I grab it? Oh, it actually grabbed it, huh? If we can get some weight on the truck, we might be able to still get it. I was trying to get it. I was trying to go the other way. <clears throat> Damn it. I was trying to go the other way so that it would, uh, so that it would tip the truck back on its, on its thing there. All right, let's, um, what other truck do we got that would be? Trying to think here. I mean, we could take this out there, but it's going to take us a while to get out there. I mean, let's try this truck. I ain't tried this one before. It's got diff lock on it. I knew I should have tried to um, just try to bring the load closer to me instead of try to lifting it. And it probably would have kept us on our tires. But I should have actually put a. No, we only got one more barrel to put on anyway. So I was gonna say we should put a should have put a bed on this truck. We could have put the barrels on it, but we only got that one load left. We can always use this truck if it does all right we we could use this truck to pull the other one out I, I don't think I've ever driven this truck yet I think I found this one in Russia maybe can't remember It won't take us long to get there, though. Once we get there, though, I gotta go back up the stairs real quick and get my coffee turned back on. I was supposed to do it once we got to the oil barrel, and I forgot. may be a mistake taking this truck, but I don't... It's probably quicker than a, the Tatra going out there. Probably should do something with this truck. It looks pretty plain. Alright, let's not go too fast here. I don't want to tip this thing over.
hopefully it goes through here pretty easily because that's and once we get out there We did put a snorkel on this thing, so at least we we can go in a little bit higher water here. All right, let's get out of the thick mud. Hopefully we can get that upright pretty quickly. And then while we're at the warehouse here, we can get our cement slabs for that other one. At least start making our way out there to the last mission. I think it was the last either mission or task. I can't remember if it was, which one it was. tricky part because we don't have we need to be close enough but I don't want to go through that thick mud right there alright Here, see if we can pull it, pull it over. Probably should put the cr crane arms down here. There we go. Oops. Get a better position here. Come on, why aren't you pulling? I think it should just flip right over.
is going on? Come on, dig in. It's like just pulling it to me. Come on, dig in. Finally. All right, let me go turn my coffee on and and then we'll see if we can get this oil barrel picked up here. Round two of oil barrels. Let's see if we can get this done. All right, we gotta get a see if we can get a better position on this. I'd like to pull forward to the left and then back up to it a little bit more, but this this mud might be a problem. So might need to pull a truck with uh with that other one here and move it over. I might have to pull straight towards it, I don't know. Did change the tires on this truck, so thought it'd be a little bit better here. But apparently, she ain't liking this mud. All we need to do is get a little closer. Make a try it again from here. It looks pretty far away still. if it's close enough I don't think it is I thought we were a lot further as it was last time This time we're not gonna, we're gonna suck it in here first. Instead of it being so far out there.
All right, now let's see if we can get her out of here. Might need to use that other truck now. Oh, is the crane, oh, why is the, oh, the anchors are in. Okay, it looked like the anchors were still out. I think they're still out, all right. No, they were in. All right. See, it never doesn't always work trying to switch the trucks like that. I don't know why. Watch this truck's gonna get stuck. Trying to get it on this dryer stuff up here. It looks like like a wench to the other truck, hopefully. Alright, let's see if we can Get it up here in a little bit more drier area. And let's detach. And get it off the side so we can back that other truck and have somewhere to move it to. So let's see, why is it now if I go here? I say change truck and then I if I try clicking on it it won't so if I just hit enter instead of try to click on it then it allows me to change the truck it's weird I maybe I'm do I'm just doing it wrong that's all all right let's see gonna go right tip right over I don't even know why I'm trying to tow that truck out, but I figure while well, it's here, instead of me driving both of them out, if it becomes a hassle, I'll just release it and drive it out its own.
can't remember if I went through that way or not. I think I did actually go through there. hitting all the wrong buttons. My steering wheel's turned sideways, that's why. Oh crap, I don't think I did go through here. Maybe we can take out this little tree right here. Nope. Probably burning more fuel doing it this way than just releasing this stupid truck. Just get this load there and then we can get refueled to drive the other truck. Slowly but surely. Come on, you can make it up there. Get this one and pull the other one out now. Probably because we went through it like four times, uh, three, yeah, three or four times now. Probably making it so we can't getting stuck in the rut there.
that should be good enough. We should be able to get her out of there now. Alright, it took us a little longer than I expected, but we did get her done. Another three grand. Ooh, I reached rank 20 now. So let's go and get uh, some fuel out here. And then we're going to come back in and get some cement blocks. I think we needed cement blocks for that last um, mission, which were here, as far as I remember. Shut her down. Let's see what that last one was. Was it this one? No, not this one. Power lines? No. I'm going to accept it though. No, oh, maybe not. Where was it? It was solid foundation is what we're looking for. Concrete slab. Yep, that's the one we wanted. Oh, there's only... Oh, wait. Let's see. There we go. On the truck. Alright, so we just need the one. Let's get the... Alright, so we're gonna wanna go... Probably through here. I don't know if I've gone this way yet. I know this is a pain in the butt though. to get to this place. And I th thought we had a... If we can get there, we can get that trailer that's sitting out there. But I thought we had a fuel thing out here, but I think it, what it was is I brought a fuel tanker out there. 
a truck with some fuel. Because I ran out of fuel just before I got to that house up there. repair zone thing is up there. Drilling spare parts are up there. I don't know if I've ever been up there. Alright. Let's see if we can get her in here. Hopefully this truck will do good there. I'm just wondering if I should get like a little fuel trailer to bring with us. I don't know. Like I could bring this one, but I'd like a small one. Because I'm going to need some fuel if I fuel up before I get close to there. Then I should make it all the way, but... See, I wish we could get a small, like, scout fuel trailer. I haven't used half of these trailers. So we can't even buy it without having... Like, I figure I buy it even, I can just tow it. I mean, I really don't want to tow that other one all the way over there, but... We'll just get it over there. We'll have to bring a fuel truck out. Because I know we're not going to make it. hoping to at least get all the way there before I gotta leave. We got another 20 some minutes but I don't know it might be pushing it because that's pretty difficult uh, terrain over there. In the four more minutes our puppy will be one years old. So here's our turn here. Oops. Alright, we'll see how this goes.
gonna try and keep the camera somewhat low so we can see where the terrain is going on here. Maybe we can hopefully maybe make it there without flipping this thing. I barely hit the thing. Yeah, this is going to be a bad trip. I can see it already. that line on there just in case oh it's getting too tight now Of course, there's a rock right there in the opening. It's going to be a stressful trip, I tell you. room on my table here for my mouse. Is this really the way we gotta go? Jeez. Alright. I was up here once before, but it's it was early on in this map, that's for sure.
trying to find like the best angle with the camera. still be able to see, you know. Because I know that's part of my problem here is I'm like too high up or whatever and so I can't see the roads leaning as much as it is and then tip the thing over, you know. Something like that right there. See, like I'm going to try and stay in the middle hump there so it keeps the truck somewhat level. Sometimes to going in the rut itself will tilt just too much. At least that's what I'm seeing. See like that? It's kind of tilting me. I stay in the middle rut. I wish I had a fuel tanker right here. That would be perfect. I know the harder part's coming up here, going along the mountain side there. At least the last time when I came down through here, I remember it being like that. Who the hell is living way out in the middle of the woods like this? I mean, I would like to, but only if I was married and that kind of thing. I wouldn't want to be by myself out there. Kind of boring. like stuff like this right here this is gonna be where I should I should have came a little wider to the left I mean it worked out all right right there but I could have ended out bad it could have tilted right over there right there Let's see 
like right here where it's trying to tilt us. Like I almost want to get over further here to the right. Oh shoot, it's gonna tip. Let's go back this way. Or do I want to go right over to the right more? Right, or I mean a left. Instead of going up that thing there, there we go. Yeah, it definitely wasn't looking good right there. Sure, giving this differential a workout today. How did we actually make it? Wow, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wow, we still got a few minutes to spare. Nice. Alright, so let's go. I'm thinking about going over here and seeing what the hell this is. I don't know if I can make it through here or not. Then we'll be good for today. Well, I'm actually happy about that one. I thought we still had a ways to go, but that wasn't as bad as I thought. See, now we lost our hut again. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't I don't see anybody else is doing that. I don't know what I'm doing that's causing that. Or if it's just like a glitch in the in the game. I don't know if I've ever been here before. I've never seen this before. Hopefully we'll be able to fix our vehicle right here. Oh wow, you just drive on it and the truck was fully repaired. How cool is that? Wonder what we can pick wonder what we pick up here. Drilling spare parts. So the only thing you pick up is drilling spare parts. Some um, shut it down. Wonder if we if there's something that we need for drilling spare parts. I could take it back with me.
because you think there would be something they would need. So we still got the Michigan Trail still that we have to do. I don't feel like doing it right yet. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. So we got power lines. It needs metal beams. That's the uh, one that goes to Lake uh, Island Lake there. And then we got lumber mill. Wonder if anything else needs the drilling spare parts. Oh, we gotta take something out here though. Out with the old. If I would have known, I could have brought something out with me. Oh, we couldn't actually. We don't have any room on our trailer with that thing. Um, cement. Those are all cement. Oversized cargo. I'm just trying to see if I if I need anything from this thing. Drilling equipment times three. Wonder what it. Oh, there's my alarm. Drilling equipment times three. Wonder what that is. Same, oh, okay, that's the same one. I just didn't know if. So we can get. What, what's in here? Drilling spare parts. Hmm. Wonder if another map. So we're in Smithville right now. These are the same as the other one, okay. Thought maybe there would be something different. We don't have any tasks left on Black River. No, these are the same things here. There's no, I did all the tasks in here? Or did I just not read? No. Abandoned drilling site. See, I probably didn't activate these. Dang. I still have tasks on here. Broken antenna. Flaming barrels we're not going to do. But I could have swore we did, the, did this, though. Well, either way, we got, we got, um, our last thing done. So now we still need to do the Michigan Trail. Eventually, we're, we're going to have to take the scout for this then. And, um, maybe do that tomorrow. So if we're going to do the scout, we need... I don't think it's, it must not be deployed yet.
probably take this one here. Customize it. Let's see if we can get different tires for this thing. So off road. Probably want to get mud tires on here. Nope. What other things do we need? Oh, let's get the autonomous wench too. get a, a fuel trailer because we are going to probably need it. So we'll get ready, we'll have it ready for tomorrow. Got everything all set up. Let's get this and shut it down. And uh, We'll see how it goes tomorrow. So, hope everybody had a good time. Um, we will catch you guys tomorrow and see what we can if we can get this Michigan Trail thing done. So, all right. Well, you guys all have a good evening, and 